the time might be here. Chat GPT might be taking our jobs away. This AI has been absolutely insane since the day that it came out. And recently, it has passed the MBA exam. It has passed most portions of the US MLE and past some portions of the bar. And we have to remember that chat GPT right now, GPT-3 is not connected to the internet. And you might be thinking, of course, it's gonna be able to do that. It's just simply pulling data and it can go for the questions, pull data from the internet and get the questions right. But it can do it insanely fast and it can do it insanely accurately. Even though it's pulling a bunch of data from the internet, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to get good data, correct data, or the right answers. And if it's able to sift through everything and get the right answers, that's pretty insane. And the guys that performed this test to see if ChatGPT was really that smart, they said their findings can be organized into two major themes, the rising accuracy of ChatGPT and the potential for this AI to generate novel insights. So ChatGPT is insane. We already knew that. But GPT-4 is what's going to be absolutely crazy because that one's going to be connected to the internet, have up-to-date data, and be able to surf the internet and find things in real time. So that's when things are going to get insane. But right now, GPT-3 is even taking people's jobs away. And one of the big companies that has started this is BuzzFeed, that they said they're going to use AI to write articles after firing 180 employees. So ChatGPT is already out here taking people's jobs, even though it's being BuzzFeed. I don't think people are like hold BuzzFeed in some super regard with like the beacon of truth. It's kind of just like a a for fun kind of gossip place. I don't think anybody takes it really too seriously. And if you do, I I don't know what to tell you. Uh, a lot of people just do the quizzes and stuff and try and have fun with it. So, uh, but it seems like they're going to be even uh, upping their quiz game here, saying they're gonna even use the AI to enhance their uh, content and quizzes. So obviously they're going to be using this to continue pushing things forward. Uh, if we look down here, the CEO said, uh, in 2023, you'll see AI inspired content move from uh, R and D stage to part of our core business, enhancing the quiz experience, informing our brainstorming and personalizing our content for our audience. And I do think it's a smart thing for companies to be doing this, right? To try and use AI to enhance things, make things easier, be able to get better information or once like GPT-4 comes out and they can surf the internet with it, I think it's going to be a pretty good tool. Uh, I think it does also come at the cost of some people's jobs. Whoever's job it was originally to do that can be very easily replaced with an AI that can work 24-7 and for a very lower cost. And they just confirmed they're going to be using, uh, you know, the technology from artificial intelligent company OpenAI, which is what we've all been using, what we've all been exper experimenting with over the past few days and weeks and months since it's been out. So uh, uh, it's interesting to see it all just coming through. So the big question is, will this bleed over into mainstream media, into bigger kind of companies where they start to use this AI stuff to replace people's jobs that they're doing right now? Because that might be the scary part, right? Having chat GPT, having this AI come in and what used to take you know, 50 people or 100 people to work under one company and come up with good data or marketing or doing all these different types of things and being able to replace them with an AI, uh, it does form a risk for people's jobs, right? And what are you going to do after that? How are you going to solve those problems? The AI is ex insane, really fun to see how it's doing, but does come at a cost of how does it change everything? But I guess we're gonna have to wait and see how that all plays out. But if we look at BuzzFeed 2, you can see the stock surged as much as 157% and was on track for its busiest season. It's almost like using chat GPT or AI is the new buzzwords like in 2021 when Web 3.0 and NFTs and Metaverse, if you were any of those companies, if you were to come up to any investor and say, we're a Web 3 Metaverse company, you would get tons of money like that. You would get flooded with cash and be an insanely valuable company, even though you might not even have anything there. That does seem to be what BuzzFeed has done. We can look at their stock right here. You can see the past day up 87%. The past week, 279%. And the past month, 
404%. This stock has been skyrocketing since the news came out that they're going to be replacing people with this AI. And that could be scary to look down in the future and see, you know, the AI future where a lot of people's jobs are replaced by AI. So maybe that's a scarier part. But BuzzFeed overall, is it like this next super amazing company? Not really. You go out even further. You look at it when it spac it went IP it uh, IPO through a spec around uh, right here, like December. You can see around six dollars and has been uh, really, really devastated since then. So this obviously a massive push up, amazing recovery. Is it only hype? Is it going to stay? Is their business model going to work? Is the AI going to work? Because another thing you got to remember with AIs like this is over time, if it keeps getting bad information from the internet and cycles through bad information, you could end up with bad articles and really bad wording in articles. And then maybe it doesn't turn out to be such a great move after all. There are just positives and negatives to this whole AI thing. There's there's a lot of positives, a lot of negatives, a lot of changes. It's un unknown territory, undiscovered territory. No one's been here, so it's all fresh. And if you dive into BuzzFeed's financials here, their, their uh, income and stuff, you can see their revenue is going up right here. The December here is where they spec'd. Uh, and then you can see it's kind of, it's been climbing their revenue, climbing uh, revenue growth, obviously positive, but their gross profit flat line to a little increase. But uh, you see here, net income is negative. So they're still not really making any money. They're still burning some money, uh, but maybe this moved AI changes that. Maybe it pushes them into profitability and completely changes this like media landscape I could see it happening. I think this chat GBT thing is insane. I think it becomes actually insane and actually ridiculous when GPT-4 comes out and it's connected to the internet and you have real-time up updating data and it can reach out and do all of that and you don't have to be bound to, like, I think GPT-3 is connected to 2021. So anything after 2021 you're not going to be able to get any information on. And obviously in the media world, you are needing literally second updates, second to second updates. You can't have any database that's more, like years out of date. You need databases that are seconds up to date. So that's uh, obviously the real game changes when that comes out. This might be just some sort of excitement, uh, you know, with the stock absolutely just skyrocketing off this news. Feels like a little bit of hype, feels like uh, a keyword and selling off that stuff, but maybe this is the future of media. But that's gonna do it for this video. As always, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.